begins before sunrise. Workstations are powered on, tools are ready, and Shapiro and Duncan workers anticipate the project ahead. Long before this day of the raw materials arrival, plans have been drawn, scrutinized, and optimized for maximum efficiency. Our designers have labored tirelessly to conceptualize and assemble digitally the entire industrial HVAC system, piece by piece, before the first length of raw pipe ever arrived at our fabrication shop in Landover, Maryland. Driven by a desire for the highest quality product at the best value for our customer, great care has been taken to ensure waste has been minimized and the entire system has been designed for a lifetime of maximum efficiency in this critical installation a hospital. This will be accomplished by Shapiro and Duncan's expertly trained team. This is the journey from the digital artboard of conceptualization to the finished product installed and in service. This is the life of Pipe. AutoCAD designers and coordinator specialists first developed the complete system based on project-specific needs. The system is carefully reviewed using digital simulations to ensure functionality. The designers and coordinators then detail the plans down to the smallest of parts through the creation of spool drawings. These are the drawings of each discrete pipe segment with their intended fittings, welds, lengths, bends, and end caps. Those drawings become the individual blueprints for the pipe segments, which Shapiro and Duncan workers will fabricate in-house to create a mammoth puzzle that will be erected at the job site. For the time being, the drawings also serve as the materials list for the order placed with the pipe vendor. We will be following Spool 53, the chiller return supply. At over 42 feet long and 20 inches in diameter, weighing in at over four tons, it is the largest pipe in the installation. The foundry receives the order and sets into motion the manufacturing process. The raw materials for Spool 53 arrive on a flatbed truck one morning in July. Here, a straight length of forged steel sits while workers ready its transport from the delivery vehicle to the shop's interior, where it will begin a dramatic series of events. Starting with a ride on the forklift, the forklift sets the pipe on a conveyor, which will carry it to the plasma torch. A computer-controlled cutting program has been loaded into the machine per the requirements of the spool. The pipe travels down this 60-foot automated conveyor, and the cutting begins. The machine rotates the pipe as the torch precisely cuts it into the required length, including cutting round holes where connections will later be welded. After just a few minutes on the plasma torch, the pipe has been cut to length with the required holes cut and beveled. It is now ready to move on to the next station. A building structure mounted gantry crane assists workers in moving the pipe around the shop. Here, it's used to lift the pipe from the plasma torch to the turner. The turning station is intended to help technicians weld the joints to the cut lengths of pipe. In this device, the pipe slowly rotates at the operator's command, so the fittings can be tack welded into place. A quality control specialist then measures the pipe from multiple angles to ensure that it conforms to the dimensions and lengths called for by the original plans. With the inspection complete, the welder is given the green light to weld the fittings into place. The worker welds the pieces together while the turner aids in the pipe's handling. After the joints are welded, the edges are rough and in need of additional attention. The pipe is measured again to check for any shifting that may have occurred during the welding process. The welder then grinds the seams of the joints with a grinding tool so that they are smooth. When he's satisfied with the work, the pipe moves to another station where the welds are painted to help protect against corrosion. It is then marked with a number which will identify it for future shipping, transport, and installation. The inside of the pipe is then blown clean and the openings are covered with plastic wrap to prevent dirt, debris, or moisture from entering during its time in the stockyard. After the pipe has been painted and sealed, it is forklifted to the stockyard where it will await transport to the job site. The day has arrived for the pipe to be delivered to the job site. The timing has been carefully coordinated with Shapiro and Duncan's foreman on the site as well as the crane operator who will be picking the pipe from the delivery truck. The pipe is again forklifted onto a flatbed truck and a 
strapped into place for its journey. The truck leaves the yard with the cargo in tow and travels to the job site. When the pipe arrives on site, workers coordinate over two-way radios and ready operations to receive the massive spool. This is not the only pipe to be delivered today, and time with the crane is limited. Every movement must be perfectly executed in order to most efficiently manage the cargo. Finally, it's Spool 53's turn to be lifted from the truck. It soars overhead, lifted by a tower crane, and is lowered to a team of Shapiro and Duncan workers who swiftly load the pipe onto temporary rolling carts. It takes six men to push the pipe to the place where it will be installed in the system. Workers ready the site by drilling into solid concrete and then install temporary anchors, which will be used to connect chain falls to hoist the pipe to the required height. The system of chain falls are installed and workers fit straps to the pipe. The straps are then connected to the chains. Four men simultaneously work the pulleys to lift the pipe into place inside the hangers. These hangers will not only hold the pipe in place while it's bolted and welded to the other spools in the system, but also serve as a means for the pipe to expand and contract when the temperature changes in the system. This flexibility causes much less stress on the system and increases its life and functionality. When the pipe reaches the proper height, workers bolt the hangers into place. This will hold the pipe while the system is assembled and workers can move on to other facets of the installation until the pipe is ready for the next phase of construction. At Shapiro & Duncan, we take care to design, fabricate, and install HVAC systems with quality ever in mind. When the work is completed by our team of technicians, operators, and designers, we produce less waste, offer higher quality installation, and better value to our clients. Our commitment to the highest standard of care is evident throughout the system. From the first line drawn in the digital world to the end user enjoying the comfort level provided, Spool 53 played a major role in this specific installation, but so do all of our pipes and people. They are all crafted with the same level of care and attention to detail, whether they are 42 feet long or small enough to be lifted with one hand. It is this level of dedication to our craft that promises you, the customer, the best possible product.